Barrows is a mini game released May 9th in 2005. Yes, it is that old actually, but throughout the years it has been updated including new graphics and a couple of extra bosses to fight throughout the mini game. So what we want to do is take an old guide back from 2006 and see if their method still applies today. Can we defeat Barrows using their old way of thinking? Full credit to Rarg for this original idea. He did the same thing for old school RuneScape, but I want to do this for RuneScape 3. Obviously the games are extremely different and I think it'll be very interesting to compare this old method, this old guide way of doing Barrows compared to how you might do Barrows now in 2019. So here is the old Barrows guide back from 2006. This is from tippet.com. I'm sure if you played back then you would remember this website as they had guides for basically everything in RuneScape. This was basically the go-to website along with stuff like RuneHQ and Zybez. So I feel like this is a pretty good guide to go off of to see basically what was required back then for doing Barrows. So let's see what information they have for us. All right, getting there, that is the first thing. And all right, so these are methods are all viable still today. You can still use them. Coming from Verak, the long way through the swamp, or going through the dungeon and taking the boat. Those both still work. Obviously now, kind of the quickest way is just to use the Draken's Medallion, which will take you right to the Barrow's entrance. But back then, these were the choices you had. So keep that in mind. Let's see what kind of gear they had for us. Gear setups. Okay, so two different gear setups for if you're under 90 combat or over. So full Mystic and a Farseer Helm. Haven't seen those in a long time. Got a Legends Cape, some Rune Arrows, Rune Kite Shield, and a Ring of Life. Wow. And then I guess if you're using the Slayer Dart method, which uh, I think is what we're going to use. I remember that being very, very popular because the runes from Barrows just kind of fueled the Slayer Dart. So easy to use. And uh, this person here even has like Wizard Boots. And I guess this is like a Charged Glory. This one looks like an Uncharged Glory to me. And a prayer book. So let's see. We got some runes here for a Lumbridge Teleport, as well as our runes we need for our spells. Ectophile, which would probably be the easiest telly to start walking through the swamp. And then it looks like they are going with sort of a tribrid setup. And that would be for meleeing Carol and using ranged versus Aram. And we got some prayer pots, some sharks. And I guess if you're a high enough level, you do not even uh, need prayer potions. So cool. So we'll see how these setups work out for us in RS3. And the last thing I guess to look at is killing the brothers. What sort of strategy they have. So let's see. In this order, they want us to go Varrock first. Torag. This is not the actual order, is it? Okay, here is the attack plan for the brothers. First thing, they want us to go in and go to Darok. Defeat him. Then they want us to go to Carol. After that, they want us to go to Guthin, then Torag, then Aram. And then lastly, you would go to Varok. So we'll try to keep that same strategy as we actually test this method out for ourselves in modern day rs3 with this old guide all right so here we are at the ecto functus ready to make our journey to barrows equipped with all the necessary gear based on the guide that we looked at got the farseer helm cape of legends got full mystic got a slayer staff of course this Slayer Staff is two-handed, unlike in the past, it was one-handed, so I can't have a prayer book or a shield on. So, obviously, 
part of this video is to show how some things have changed and obviously staffs have changed quite a bit but we're doing it as close to this old guide as possible we got our glory we got a ring of life we got rune arrows come to the inventory we got our runes for our lumbridge teleport and then i do have the death runes and the old slayer dart spell was mind runes but the new one is air runes so i have to switch out for air runes got our ecto file to teleport back dragon longsword spade we're gonna need that to dig obviously got a magic short bow got our black dragon hide and a rune and we got our prayer potions and i am using three dose prayer potions because that's what the guide used and then we got some sharks so let's go ahead and go to barrows Here we are, all the way at Barrows, ready to go. So, according to the guide, we are going to fight Darok first. So, here we're ready to go. We got our Slayer Dart ready. We're on Magic Attack, Auto Retaliate on. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna turn on my Protect from Melee. We're gonna attack. Alright, that wasn't too bad. We got out of there pretty quick. Okay. According to the next one, we want to fight Carol next, which means we're going to need to switch up our style. And so we're going to go ahead and melee Carol with our dragon longsword. Uh, go ahead and do that. We're going to be protecting from range. Doing a good bit of damage. Let's do a special attack. Slice. Make sure our prayer stays up. We're doing fine on that. And killed. Ah, pretty painless there. Not too bad. All right, after Carol, they say we go to Guthin. Now, Guthin, they suggest staying in full melee gear as he will heal more if we're using the mage gear. So we're going to stay with our rune, but we are going to use magic to pray. And then let's take a whack at him. Doing a lot of damage so we can eat food. Splash in here. This is hard. Big hits, big hits. Alright, alright. Wasn't too bad. Alright. Now we're gonna go to the Torag. Do the same sort of thing, but we're gonna go back to our Mystic. As Torag isn't nearly as strong as Guthan, I guess. Or we don't have to worry about the heal, so we're gonna pray from melee and start attacking. This uh, Slayer Dart seems to be a slow spell. It's very interesting seeing this this legacy mode compared to EOC that's been around for so long. The abilities attack almost constantly, and this attacking of the legacy mode is just way slower. It's pretty interesting. So we are taking a while to kill this guy here. Although he's really doing like no damage to us. I want, you know, 
I guess maybe I should have found this out, but I'm not sure if in EOC or if, if prayer's in legacy mode. Now it looks like prayer's still only reduced by 50%, so. Not sure, because old prayers obviously did 100% reduction. Let's see what we got next. All right, they say Aram next. So, this is where we want our range. So we're putting on our black D hide. We got our magic short bow. We're going to pray for magic. We're going to drink a prayer po potion. Oh man, he hit us hard there. Better get a special attack in. Bam. Better eat some more food. It's pretty hard. One more attack. All right. Honestly, pretty easy. And the last one is Varrock. And Varrock is going to be the same setup here as for the other melee brothers. And here we go. Now we got to find our doors. Not gonna bother killing any minions because we're only worried about the brothers. But usually you would switch to the rune and melee the minions. Get our puzzles finished. All right, about to fight our last brother here. Turn on protect from melee, drink a prayer potion dose, and attack Barak with our Slayer Dart. He definitely hits pretty hard. Come on. Ooh, that was a big one. Better eat another shark. And he's out of there. And let's loot the chest. Got some blood runes. Actually, this is not a bad chest. Not a bad chest at all. And then from here, we will teleport out to... Where's my teleport? To Lumbridge. We can restore our prayer. Come down here and church to restore prayer. So... To answer the question, is this method still viable? Um, it didn't go too bad, honestly. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Uh, but to be honest, I haven't really played in legacy mode. For, I mean, really since it switched. Since it switched to EOC, I've never even tried to do legacy mode. So I wasn't really sure how it would do. Um, it seemed to do fine, even with all this older equipment. When obviously there's much, much better stuff to be available. Okay, and this is going to be how I would do Barrows now with all the modern things in RS3. So, starting off with the equipment, I would just use full subjugation. There are better armors in this, but it doesn't degrade, and it's pretty good generally for uh, low-level bossing and for Slayer. I would use a Kiln Cape, uh, Amulet of Souls, the Book of Wisdom, Cinderblane Bane Gloves, Augmented Staff of Darkness, and Asylum Surgeon's Ring. And then for the inventory, we got air runes and fire runes, and that is so we can use the Fire Surge spell. As Linza is weak to fire, so that's gonna help out as Linza's gonna be the strongest. Uh, enhanced Excalibur for healing, a Ring of Vigor switch for using Sunshine. Then we got a holy overload to boost our stats and a bunch of prayer flasks to restore prayer after each run. And then a couple of rock tail, basically just safety food. And then what we have is the Barrow's Amulet. This will let us skip three brothers that we don't have to fight um, per run. So that'll make the runs go easier. And then we got our Draken's Medallion to get us there faster. So let's go ahead and do a run. So let's teleport and we can go right to Barrow's. Now, I do have the quest done for Akersay and Linza, which means there'll be a couple extra brothers than we would have had back in 06. 
but let's go ahead. This is just how I would do it, by the way. This is no means the only way to do it. But I would go ahead and use a amulet on Varrock and use an amulet on Akersay. Akersay is by far the most annoying to kill, in my opinion. All right. And by the way, if uh, they are in the tomb and not in their, like, sarcophagus or whatever, or I should say if they're not in the tomb, um, you cannot use an amulet on it. Then we use the last amulet on Darok, and as you can see, it is in the tunnel, so we can't use it. Which means that we can either use it on someone else, or I can just save it. I'll probably just use it on Aram. we use it on Aram, and now we are going to fight Linza, who is the hardest boss. So let's go ahead and drink a Holy Overload. And go here, and we're going to turn on Soul Split and Torment. And basically, Linz is going to take the longest. All the other ones will die very quickly. But we just need to make sure we keep our prayer up. And then, shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, once we get up Sunshine, we'll start DPSing a lot faster. So, let's get that up. Alright, Sunshine up. And then we'll start using some thresholds here once we build up the adrenaline again. Honestly, Linza is the only one in all of Barrows that actually takes a while. Everything else is super easy. And you have to complete Kindred Spirits to even unlock Linza in here. Um, but her armor is like the most expensive, so it's a better drop. So I think it's worth doing. But obviously, comparing to 06 Barrows, this is not quite uh, apples to apples here, but um, it's a little bit extra. But even so, you can just see how the new equipment and with EOC makes everything so much faster. So, almost done with that kill. There we go. Turn our prayers off. And we can go on to the next one. I'm going to go to Guth and next. Try to keep adrenaline, adrenaline stalling if possible. Usually I don't even prey on any of the other brothers unless I need some health. I might just turn on soul split for a little bit just to get health up, but it's not that big of a deal. Go to Carol next. Of course we know that we have to fight Dorok in the tomb, which is sort of annoying. I'm not like a big fan of uh, Dorok just because he actually can hit really hard. That's why I would use the Barrow's Amulet on him. But we will have to pray against Dorok. Alright, let's go to Torag next. Probably the easiest I would say out of all of them. We'll go ahead and turn Soul Split on because I am a little low on health. Try to heal up a little bit before we... Finish the run out. Nice kill. All right, now back to Darok. Into the tunnel. Yes, we would like to enter. I am fearless. All right, door. Looks like this is going to be a long one. Never seem to get the easy doors. Of course, if you have Surgeon Bladed Dive, you can kind of navigate this a little faster. Which is something you cannot do in Legacy. Open door, please. All right, this should be the door. Yep. Okay. Obviously, all the puzzles and stuff are the same. All right, let's go ahead and spawn Dorak here. Turn on protect from melee because he actually can hit very, very high. Even in uh, even in EOC, so be a little scary. All right, whoops. Turn the prayer off and then loot the chest, and we actually got an item, which is pretty sick. But there you have it. Um, 
that is Barrows like it was in 2006. Hopefully this was enjoyable for you guys. Uh, it was pretty fun making, honestly, seeing just all the differences and what they recommend now compared to how the game has changed and uh, the different armor sets and even the spells and everything you would use. Um, it's really quite different and it just shows how much the game has changed over the years. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you had fun. I had a good time making it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and I'll catch y'all in the next one.